So our next problem here asks us to kind of apply some of the things that we've learned about electrons and what they feel when they're around an atom and, and use it to identify trends in atomic size and think about comparing different elements. And so with all three, uh, four of these problems here in this problem, I want you guys to be able to think about um, kind of what's different between these species. And as we'll see, some of them are kind of what I call an apples to apples comparison. Others are more of an oranges to oranges, but recognize that your periodic table can be one of the best cheat sheets you have for thinking about this. Okay, so our first problem here asks us to think about calcium, magnesium, strontium. Oh, just to kind of mention, um, if you wanna remember this trend, size increases as you go from right to left and increases as you go down, okay? So that's gonna help us uh, remember things and apply things here. So size increases as you go from right to left and increases as you go down. And the um, effect of, as you go down a level is more substantial than the changes we see going across. So again, this trend going down is going to always take precedence and have greater effect than any changes we see going across a period. Um, and so we're going to look at uh, these three species we have here and we'll kind of see what, what, uh, what, how they're related. So for example, if we look at calcium, magnesium, strontium, calcium, magnesium, strontium. So this first problem is what I like to call an apples to apples comparison. We have three species that are all in the same group. Remember, groups are the same thing as columns in the periodic table, we know that if we just compare that, size increases as you go down a column. So in that case, again, this problem asks us to um, order them in order of decreasing atomic size. So the biggest one's gonna be first. So strontium's gonna be first, then calcium, then magnesium. That one's pretty straightforward because we're comparing apples to apples. So again, I'm gonna call this an apples to apples comparison. And in that way, you've got strontium that's going to be the biggest, then uh, calcium, and then magnesium. So we just can get all of that information directly for that from the periodic table. All right, let's look at the next one. We've got uh, potassium, uh, gallium, and calcium. So potassium, gallium, and then calcium. So these three guys. So in this case, it's another apples to apples comparison because they're all in the same period. Okay, so calcium, potassium, and gallium here. Okay, so all in the same period. And when we talk about periods in the periodic table, that's the same thing as saying a row. So again, this is another one of our apples to apples comparisons. And we need to remember that size increases as you go from right to left. So um, our largest ones are gonna be over on the um, uh, uh, left side of the periodic table here. So in this case, we're gonna have potassium's gonna be the biggest, then calcium, then gallium. So that one, again, pretty straightforward, apples to apples. So potassium is greater than calcium is greater than gallium. Okay, next problem, bromine, rubidium, and krypton. So again, looking, we've got bromium, rubidium, and let me move this to make sure that you guys can see this here, rubidium all the way over here, bromine and krypton. So what we have is we have two things that are in period four. So again, we're comparing those two things, and then we jump down and have something in period five. So um, what we have, again, is what we like to think about as a apples to oranges. because we're kind of changing two things. We're comparing two things that are uh, in the same period, and then the other thing happens to be in a different, um, a different period, so kind of jumping down. So again, one of the things to remember as I highlighted up here is a change in level is gonna have much more of an effect than a change across a period. So change in level has the greatest effect. And in this case, effect is actually kind of um, uh, dualistic because we're talking about rubidium. Not only is this guy the furthest to the left, but he's actually down a period. So even if it was calcium, it would still be the bigger one. So 
left side of the periodic table again being bigger, but we're even down a, uh, a period here. So that's going to be more substantial. So in that case, we're going to have rubidium being our largest, and that's going to be then greater than bromine and greater than krypton, which is, again, furthest to the left. So rubidium being the greatest, being in uh, the n equals 5 row. And then comparing these two, we're going to have bromine being bigger because it's further to the left than the noble gases. All right, looking at this last one again, strontium, calcium, and rubidium. So strontium, calcium, and rubidium. So again, looking at the same type of a comparison, two things on the same period and another thing in a different period, but this time we got two things that are down here. So we know the things from n equals 5 are both going to be bigger, and comparing the two of them, the furthest one to the left is the biggest. So in this case, rubidium is going to be greater than strontium, and they are both going to be greater than calcium because this is an n equals 5, this guy is n equals 4. So when you have kind of these apples to um, oranges comparisons, find what's different. And for something where uh, th there's only one thing that's different, again, comparing, for example, rubidium and calcium, they're uh, different periods but also different groups. So kind of hard to kind of look at, look at things there. So try to find two things that only have one thing that's different and use our trends in atomic size to explain those.